good morning good afternoon good evening whichever time you are watching this video uh, wherever you are watching us from welcome to mc ruben y Benez, a youtube channel and in case you've not subscribed to this new channel it's a young baby that we are supposed to nurture please give us your subscription hit on that subscription button iko hapo in red press it and also press the notification bell so that anytime we upload any new video you'll be among our first uh, people to be notified um, on this channel uh, today we have a story that will inspire many um, a story that will give hope a story that will change your mentality about so many things and a story that I know most of you know about it because it has been going around the social media but we wanted to hear now from this horse's mouth and the horse is here so Tony, yes, yes. Karibu sana to this YouTube channel. Kwa asante sana. Yeah, say hi to our viewers and tell them who you are. Okay, hi everyone. My name is Anthony Chegewajiko. Um, my nickname Tony Six Ninety Eight. Okay. Yeah, I'm twenty four years old. Okay. So Tony, we've seen you in the recent past, eh? Na tumekuja kukujua tu kama Tony when you met here in the social media. But we would maybe want to have a, a background of Tony. Who is Tony Ametokawapi and something detail about Tony's childhood. Okay. I was an orphan. So Nika Lizua na my shows and my uncles. Yeah. Nika in a primary. Yes, challenges it was sometimes financial because mm -hmm. obviously your mom is not there. Mm -hmm. So Napata sometimes you get some challenges, maybe you have kuzwa shule. Yeah. Maybe you die in the home, you die like one week, two weeks, mm -hmm. sometimes even three weeks. Mm -hmm. But at least, kwa likuwa na jalibu venye na zaludi shule, mm -hmm. nikamaliza class eight, nilikuwa na somea day school. Mm -hmm. Tena kufanya nilikuwa nimefanya vizuli, but my wish nilikuwa niende on a boarding school. Nyodoke kwa society, but unfortunately nilipelekoa day school venye nilikuwa, just hapo tu kalibu na home. Mm -hmm. Na singe kataa kuenda kwa simi na jilipia. Mm -hmm. So nilienda hapo tu day school yeah. kagio kagio secondary mm -hmm. na nikasoma nikamaliza na kumaliza hapo mm -hmm. nikatoka nikakuja saa kungangana na wanaume huko nje mm -hmm. nimefanya kazi ya shaba boy mm -hmm. nikakuja kazi ya pasture kwa maziwa industry okay. nikafanya loilo beba mm -hmm. until now nika nafanya kazi ya beauty kazi ya nails mm -hmm. about ladies mambo ya kucha mambo mm -hmm. ya be in short beautician i'm a beautician for now nice nice yeah. nice so in other words you're saying we utangeneza wa mama yeah wasichana na wa mama uh, nails and their heads yeah nails eyebrows yeah. as in anything concerning beauty but i thought your kazi ni wa mama no hiyo okay. kazi siku hizi ukiangalia penye tumefika <laughs> wasichana wanataka kutengeneza na mwanaume oh okay because unapata msichana hataki kutengeneza na msichana mwenzake mostly because wanasema anga sometimes wako na wivu fulani ama hataki ule beke sana kumliko so mimi na kutengeneza tu venye naweza kutengeneza demu yangu okay <laughs> that's a nice one yeah. guys comment if you want kutengenezwa na people of the opposite gender comment hapo mtuambie so no what advice would, would you give to these youths when ye umemaliza shule but maybe like Tony's case, you didn't go to college, you didn't yeah. go to university. Unaka tu hapo, just because kosa epesa imekosekana ya kwenda ahead, eh? ama umesoma, umekosa kazi, what advice would you give to those people who are maybe afraid of starting businesses? And maybe mtu anawakopa, hata kuanza hiyo kazi ya nyuele ni wana mani. Yeah. Nowadays, hata ukiangalia saa ipenye tumefika, mm -hmm. masoma unapata tunasoma, lakini hakuna mali tunaenda most of the time. Mm -hmm. Masomo ni mzuri sana but lazima ukuwe na plan B. Cuz most unapata yes tunasoma tunasahau kazi za mikono. Okay. Tunasahau the juakali sector. Mm -hmm. Na which hu, na ukizaangalia vizuri juakali sector mm -hmm. do ina perform vizuri mm -hmm. kwa economy hata. Mm -hmm. Cuz unapata watu wengi wetu tunasoma but ukifika ni kutafuta job mm -hmm. lazima ukuwe na connection ili upate hiyo kazi. Sure. Most here in Kenya that's the fact. Mm -hmm. Unapata yes umesoma vizuri but kupata kazi inakuwa ni tricky. Kupata hiyo kazi uta struggle kuliko venye uli struggle ukisoma. So most unasaidi kuwe na plan B unajua mm -hmm. if case masomo yangu imekataa kwenda venye nilikuwa nafikiria 
kuna kosi nimefanya ya mkono na kosi ya mkono hakuna mtu atawahi kunyanganya kosi ya mkono hata unaweza anza biashara yako unaweza anza kitu yenye itakuwa ina una an bora tu upate unga yako ya asubuhi na na unga yako ya familia yako yeah. and on that case did Tony go to school to study beauty ama it's a passion ama uliona mtu tu mali akifanya yangu ilikuwa nilikuwa na passion ya kutaka kufanya beauty mm-hmm. so penye nilienda tu nilienda kijua kali sector kwa beauty tu kwa mtu mm-hmm. nika perfect mm-hmm. si hata nilienda kule hakuna kule nilienda mm-hmm. niko da tu mahali tu kwa mtu tu unaangalia tu venye anafanya na kufunza tu step one step two mm-hmm. kwa kwingine nikaji perfect ya peke yake ukajipata umekuja Kiambu yeah, direct sasa yeah, nime love like it first job is in Kiambu town no <laughs> fala ya kwanza nilikuwa loilo mm-hmm. so kwa nika haswa hizo kiasi but venye nilikuja Kiambu hapo ndo nimepata experience more about beauty okay so pata hapo nikajiliwa place ya kwanza mm-hmm. na hadi sasa hivi penye niko cause ndo shift from penye nilikuwa mm-hmm. hadi sasa hivi penye niko okay yeah. and kuna mtu hapo anakuangalia na maybe ameishikua na hiyo interest ya kutaka kujua about the hiyo kazi ya beauty mtu akakufuata ama mtu akutafute would you maybe help somebody kujitrain hiyo kazi ama kumsaidia na knowledge ama advice on hiyo kazi yote ya beauty wanga tunawafa training wengi wamesaidika tumefunza wengi hadi wako na job zao mm-hmm. kwa hii kazi bora ukuwe na passion mm-hmm. cause kama una passion uweze elewa kitu mm-hmm. cause ni wengi wanakujanga wanajaribu kusoma but haielewi mm-hmm. but ukiwa na passion hata mwezi mmoja ime iko sawa mm-hmm. utakushajua kila kitu. Yes, nice. yeah. So umesema kuna mtu atakuja pale kwa kazi apate mm-hmm. sio toni yako arudi mm-hmm. tu hata tengenezo. Kuna watu hata customer wangu ndivyo wako. <laughs> Cause unapata customer venye ameza unajua customer akuji kwa shop mm-hmm. juu ya building yenye kwa hapo mm-hmm. amekuja kwa service yenye ana pata. Mm-hmm. Na mwenye anampea hiyo service. Mm-hmm. Cause venye nitamtengeneza si venye huyo mwingine atamtengeneza. Mm-hmm. Service yenye anampea si yenye huyo mwingine anampea. Mm-hmm. So inalingananga client venye mm-hmm. una treat. Yes, sure. yeah. Okay. Na so you can tell maybe those who will be interested waka, mahali wanaweza kupata in Kiambu town specifically maybe you can give them maybe any contact they can reach out to okay. Niko Kiambu town Pogezi Plaza next to Clean Chef Supermarket. Mm-hmm. Na ukiweza fika hapo hata unikose utanipigia na 0758 mm-hmm. 930 228. Nice 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 that and support Tony ju after we look at his story hata sisi tutaona that he somebody mwenye anatusaidia that's the least we can do for him ndio hata hiyo mambo yenye tutajua anapitia afterwards he really needs that shilling of yours eh? so now coming to the social media Anthony in the past few days tumeona Tony pale online tumemwona kwa mitandao kila mahali kila mahali akitokea akiambia watu Hey, there is something you've been telling people about mm-hmm. yourself. Hebu tuambie saa hii tusikie na tujue ni nini hii about Tony hatujui. Kitu wenye sana sana nasema kwa online. <laughs> kitu number one tuache kupima HIV na macho. Ile uh-huh. kwanza sitaacha kusema. Mm-hmm. Tuache kupima HIV na macho. Mm-hmm. Na baadhi tu wasichana waache kuogopa ball kuliko HIV because uh-huh. nowadays girls are feeling pregnancy more than HIV. Mm-hmm. Love we spread awareness mm-hmm. na tuache stigma yenye tuna stigmatize watu wenye wako na HIV positive. Mm-hmm. You don't know about your tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Okay so Tony umeambia watu waache kujipima HIV status na macho and so much uh, most of the things you are talking on, on social media are revolving around HIV, ARVs and things like that. Eh? Mm-hmm. Is it something that is out of experience? Have you lived with people who are HIV positive or, or why all this? Why are you talking so much about HIV? Kitu ya kwanza yenye inatuma niambie watu waache kupima na macho because mm-hmm. kama mimi wenye unaniangalia hivi hapa mm-hmm. I'm HIV positive from birth. I'm HIV positive from birth. Yeah. I lost my mom because of HIV. Sorry. And that's why I'm fighting the disease as an orphan. Mm-hmm. But ukianza kupima HIV na macho you'll mm-hmm. get yourself a mess mahali. Unaona? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love the stigma because in my face mm-hmm. nime face stigma back in the society. Mm-hmm. That's why na spread awareness na tu ache kustigmatize watu wenye wako na HIV. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So you said your mom is late and yeah. may she rest in peace. Eh? Would you mind telling us maybe what happened that caused her death? Yes, you say she was HIV positive, eh? but what transpired during that time that she she passed on? She just tested positive. Male alikuwa ni venye tu an accident tu. <laughs> ya yeah, kaumwa tu na umbwa yenye tu unaweza pata ajali tu mm-hmm. akapeleka hospitali mm-hmm. and 
Venye alienda hosi aka test positive. Mm-hmm. Na venye alitest positive yeye yeah, kulingana na stigma back then mm-hmm. hangeza ku sustain ku castro kwa za kukua venye saa hii watu at least we are educated more kiasi mm-hmm. about HIV. Mm-hmm. So chenye aliona tu ni ku commit suicide. The same case nowadays. Watu mtu anaenda na test positive anaona life yake imefika mwisho mm-hmm. anaona tu ku commit suicide. And on that case Tony what would you tell that person mwenye maybe kuna mtu anajiangalia hii interview lama kuna mtu ameona Tony on social media and out of that akasema we hata mimi nitaenda kupimo it's something you didn't expect ama cause people have got that notion that you have to get HIV through sex unaweza kuwa maybe you got HIV hata bila kujua all through a means that ata huwezi fikiria uli contract the disease eh? so on arrival to the hospital and you are tested and the results are positive what you do tell those people when they didn't expect such results like it was total total shock and that is where unapata mtu anatoka tu hapo nje ya hospitali ananunua kadawa na anajimalizia hapo hapo what you do tell those people when kweli unaenda tu na unashtuka number one, ku test positive si kumaanisha it's end of your life Again ku test positive haimaanishi wewe mm-hmm. yani unafanyanga vitendo baya mm-hmm. cuz let's even assume ni sex ulipata nayo mm-hmm. kama ulijua partner wako ako na HIV positive ungekaribia hata hapo mm-hmm. ungekuwa umeenda we kabisa hata ungetaka kukuwa associated na yeye mm-hmm. ni venye tu you are not learned hukua na yani hukua learned mm-hmm. with the precaution mm-hmm. venye unastahili kufanya mm-hmm for yani could take care of yourself mm-hmm. and that's why tunajali ku educate watu for now mm-hmm. we have to condomize we have to stay safe na tufanye massive test mm-hmm. na hiyo point ndio inakuja wasichana tuache kupima HIV na macho na wanaume tuache kupima HIV na macho mm-hmm. again girls waache kufikiria pregnancy ndio tu ana fear kuliko HIV mm-hmm. na wakati tutajua hiyo mm-hmm. utapata hata cases za HIV zitaenda low mm-hmm. na the moment tumepata kwa HIV positive just accept yourself and just love yourself more than cuz hakuna mtu mwingine atakupenda kuliko venye mweza mm-hmm. jipenda unaona mm-hmm. yeah. yeah sure and now when we look at that story ya mom allow me to use that story eh? uh, the same day that she was told that she's hiv positive is the same day she committed suicide yeah. uh, do you think that the disclosure process has a, an impact on how we disclose these results to our patients even on the disclosure mm-hmm. but the counseling the counseling so one word to those people because nowadays and that's why we are discouraging people mm-hmm. when you wanna fanya self testing kwa nyumba because mm-hmm. ukienda kufanya hiyo self testing kwa nyumba mm-hmm. let us assume umepata kwa positive huko umepewa yeah. guidance and counseling <laughs> so chenye tu nafikiria tu uko kwa nyumba peke yako mm-hmm. unafunga tu milango unajihami na ndio maana unaambua enda kwa hospitali upewe ufanywe test mm-hmm. hata daktari because hakuna mtu atai kupima na macho mm-hmm. kwa daktari ukienda kwanza na kupea counseling mm-hmm. kama mtoto wako HIV positive mm-hmm. hata kama uko negative mm-hmm. utakupea counseling vizuri mm-hmm. na ku guide venye una style kila kitu mm-hmm. so alafu akupe result zako mm-hmm. ujisomewe mwenyewe mm-hmm. na artist hapo itakuwa better kwa sababu atakuwa bia mm-hmm. in case uko HIV positive there is ways unaweza fanya mm-hmm. in case uko negative kuna mm-hmm. venye bado unaweza ka mm-hmm. to be safe mm-hmm. so watu waache kujipima sana sana mm-hmm. if you know that maybe it's your first time it's mm-hmm. good to go to the Sipo hospital kujipima kwa yani ukiwa peke yako mm-hmm. sipo okay, nice. so now Tony what about Tony's disclosure mom passed at two years and at two years i know you were very young wezi ambiwa anything mm-hmm. eh At what time did you do that you are HIV positive? Mm. <laughs> Nikuwa still left cuz I was in class 6. Uh-huh. Nikuwa class 6 ndo nilijua ni kwa HIV positive na ni after kukata kunywa dawa. Uh, so Tony umeachana na madawa? Eh uh, sasa hapo nilikuwa naonyesha tu wakinipea dawa naonyesha na kunywa mm-hmm. but mimi mwenyewe nazitupa. Na Are there effects tu, of kuachana na hizo dawa di? Yeah cuz unapea virus the chance to be the boss in you. Mhm. Uh-huh cause virus ya HIV venye inakuanga let's just demonstrate mm-hmm. idio virus idio dawa mm-hmm. the moment umekunywa hii dawa inakuja kwa inalalia virus mm-hmm. the moment imelalia virus mm-hmm. hii dawa ina work na 24 hours mm-hmm. so hii jeda ikienda kuisha hii mm-hmm. dawa inakuanga ikiondoka mm-hmm. so the moment inaenda kuondoka hivi kama utakunywa dawa nyingine utapea chance ya virus kukuja juu mm-hmm. inaweza attack any parts of your body mm-hmm. so hapo ndo nikaanza kupata ma opportunistic infection mm-hmm. mimi zenye zilinipata ni kitu inaitwa happy zoster mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hapizo sasa zinakuanga ni lashes fulani zinakuanga chungu sana 
cause ni attack kwa kifua na kwa shingo so niko na two lashes twingi sana but zinatoa maji na zingine damu but ni very painful hadi kukula ilikuwa ngani shida and i was very very weak Oh, and how did you come now kukubali now wacha nirudi kukunywa hizi dawa did they first disclose to you ndio ukubali kukunywa dawa ama uliogopa hizo vidoda di ukaanza kukunywa dawa kitu nyingine tu mani kunywa hizo dawa ni after kwenda house daktari akaniambia kitu tu inaweza kusaidia ni hizi dawa but bado huabiwi ni za nini so no ana so nikaamua tu of okay nitakunywa mm-hmm. but still cause nilikuwa classics kwenye nilikuwa naenda house unasoma maandiko kwenye zenyezi kuko sides mm-hmm. na unaona ai unaanza kujijazia it's like in hiv unaona je kunywa hizo dawa za kila siku kila siku so definitely siku moja nikauliza tu daktari cause nilikuwa napeleka tu clinic before hata nipone mm-hmm. nikamuuliza kani na yeye ni mwenye mwenye mwenyewe ni aliniambia ame hiv positive mm-hmm. na kaniambia venye iko kunywa tu medication yako na utakuwa sawa at that time ulikuwa mm-hmm. unajua hiv ni nini ama mimi nilikuwa najua hiv ni ile ya class 4 ya ukimu ngojo mbaya na maliza madam. <laughs> I had no knowledge any. Okay. Nilikuwa tu najua tu ile nilitsai watu wako nayo. Mm-hmm. Ukimu ni ile ya class 4. Mm-hmm. Unaona? Mm-hmm. Alafu that bado siko na knowledge ya kujua HIV ni tofauti na AIDS. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Kwa sai watu wanajua HIV ndio AIDS. Mm-hmm. But HIV is just a virus, a virus but yeah. AIDS is the disease. Mm-hmm. Okay. Siko na hiyo knowledge. Okay. Yeah but uli kansoliwa na ukakuja kujikubali na nikajikubali finally okay sasa toni amejikubali what about the society imekukubali ama sasa ndio umeanza vita sasa society bado inajua unakufa tu so mm-hmm. cause kila mtu anajua hiv ukiwa nayo uwezi survive mm-hmm. so kila mtu ana expect soon you be going mm-hmm. so hata ukiweza gojeka tu ka disease kadogo mm-hmm. unapata tu kugojeka tu kitu kidogo hivyo tu watu wanafikiria wewe ah toni kwenda anaenda kukikoa kidogo toni ni kwenda anaenda cause mm-hmm. watu wanajua anga siyo kuna na HIV anza kukohoa mm-hmm. huyo ni kuisha mm-hmm. ameenda but niliweza ku fight nayo na nikaweza ku suppress my virus mm-hmm. na kutoka hata ni suppress huko ni kwa like form 2 cause hapo ndo nilienda mara ya kwanza LDL mm-hmm. my viral load ileta LDL kabisa mm-hmm. sijai ataenda house jua DCC yote maybe sana nikaenda kule fit down mm-hmm. cause ndikuja kuji accept na kunywa dawa zangu wenye inafaa mm-hmm. yeah. What about your school life? Can you remember any instance maybe in school yenye mpaka wa leo unakumbukanga and you wouldn't want it to happen to any positive kid yenye ulipitia ukiwa shule? Ni venye sasa wazazi unakuanga wamejazia watoto wao mm-hmm. offers kama mimi walikuwa wamewaambia mm-hmm. Tony hakuna kuanga hivi so mkicheza make sure kuna vitu zenye hamfanyi mm-hmm. naye mm-hmm. unaona cuz mm-hmm. wanafikiri hadi kucheza mm-hmm. itawa affect. Mm-hmm. Alafu kama mimi nikiwa primary mm-hmm hapo penye nilikuwa nimekojeka sana mm-hmm. ulikuwa unapata hata ukibeba food mm-hmm. na unajua kama sisi vipi za primary mm-hmm. hakuna kitu uwezi kula hata mm-hmm. kani ya nani mm-hmm. unapata unabeba food yako hata kani nyama na nini mm-hmm. but hakuna mtu anataka chakula yako mm-hmm. penye yenyewe unaacha hadi kwa meza hakuna mtu anaweza shika vitu kama vitambu hakuna watu wanataka vitu zako sana kuna yenyewe si wanaitikia but kuna yenyewe mm-hmm. hawazitaki unaona mm-hmm. yeah. so alafu unapata kuna wengine maybe mnacheza ama umekaa nae ile kukosana tu kuvurugana tu kidogo mtu anakuambia wewe hata tuondokee unakufa so mm-hmm. uko na ukedi mm-hmm. vitu kama hizo mm-hmm. na wanga zina affect mtu mentally mm-hmm. so you would advise those classmates when you mm-hmm. kweli unajua fulani is positive mm-hmm. they should stop that na before afike kwa ku stop hapo mm-hmm. sasa lazima watakuwa educated about HIV mm-hmm. cuz i guess venye kuligana na knowledge yenye tunapewa about HIV sasa tuki learn mm-hmm. uko primary mm-hmm ya ndio wanga inatuma watu wa stigmatize watu sana. Mm-hmm. Cuz kila mtu anajua ni ukimu ni ugonjwa mbaya. Unaona? Mm-hmm. Na wamaliza wanadamu. Unaona? Mm-hmm. So kila mtu anajua kwa na HIV you are just gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So what about when you were in school? Kuna how when you were stigmatized? Eh? But there must be some people who stood by you maybe when you unaweza taka kukumbuka yes kuna um, kuna wengi sana um, mm. like uh, just mention a few maybe kuna yes. hata ni mtu na pleasing sana ni mtu kama Eliko anaitangwa Eliko hata sasa tunafanya job na yeye mm-hmm. kwa job moja mm-hmm. nilimuita na nikamfundisha kazi ya job mm-hmm. watu kama hao wamejaribu at least to walk aloud you with you you schooled together with Eliko yeah tumesoma nae high school na hadi sasa hii job tuko pale pamoja. Well, that yeah. is nice. So mm-hmm. wewe mwenye rafiki yako ata test positive it is not the time now to run away from that friend. Mm-hmm. He needs you most or she needs you most now. So Tony, now coming now to the real picture of the social media. 
mahali tunaona Tony kwa TikTok akiimba na chupa mbili za ARVs and things like that eh? what inspired you ila kukuja nao to the open yes watu walikuwa wanajua kwenye ushago leja just like you've told us uwezi jipima na macho so ungekuja kiambu hata ungewahi jua Tony is positive hata kuna watu walikuwa na Jay Spock wa girlfriend <laughs> lakini ikafika mahali Tony akatokea even in the social media like I'm positive I'm positive what inspired you into doing that or what happened kitu kitu manifike hapo mm-hmm. na bani benye kuna watu best yangu wamekufa mm-hmm. juu ya stigma mm-hmm. kuna wengine wamekufa juu ya kukataa dawa na nakataa dawa juu ya stress mm-hmm. yani ile ana na life yake imefika mwisho mm-hmm. wengine na wao unapata immorality yenye vijana tuko nayo mm-hmm. as in kama my youth tuko na immorality mingi mm-hmm. na kitu kingine tena ni vinye tunasema watu wanasema huku na lobby at sijui kana hilo ni kushare so vitu kama hizo cuz ni immorality cuz unapata Yesu anasema hivyo but mtu hajui huyo mtu kwa ajili yake so hiyo kitu ni motivate at least nikuje to spread awareness about HIV na tujue HIV it's real tuache kupima na macho again niweze ku encourage those positive guys wenye wameshidwa na jani yao imefika mwisho waone mm-hmm. still kuna champion mwenzao mwiul mm-hmm. anakunywa dawa zake na covid mm-hmm. na cholesterol cuz by the way tukiangalia mm-hmm. hiv is not the most fast killing disease yeah. the other Even diseases have never killed anyone <laughs> hiv have never killed anyone what kills is opportunistic infection mm-hmm. and aids uh-huh. hiv is just a virus mm-hmm. but when ukishidwa ku control the virus mm-hmm hapo ndo inakuwa njanga na opportunistic infection in a transform in a kwa eight na ikifika hapo hauwezi control okay hiyo ndio wanga inaoa okay maybe you can advise those who are taking it eh? is there a specific way of taking medication ndio ikuwe effective hata before to fikia hata hapo kwa kuwa effective mm-hmm. kitu ya kwanza yenye watu wanasema anga sijui na saa mambo na dawa sijui na nini mm-hmm ama amesahau like today ameshindwa kukunywa mm-hmm. ni kama uulizwe tu kuna siku ushaitoka kwa nyumba bila viatu unasema leo nitaenda job bila viatu no. it's a habit mm-hmm. ama useme nitaenda job bila nguo unaona mm-hmm. cuz ni kitu meka on your mind mm-hmm. your mentality umeizoesha mm-hmm. in this time lazima nioge mm-hmm. lazima nioshe meno mm-hmm. lazima nifa ni kama tu venye lunch time ikifika mm-hmm. akili zako tu zinakuwa alert ni lunch time mm-hmm. lazima ukule breakfast hivyo sapa the same case maybe we you know mm-hmm. useme leo sitakula lunch mm-hmm. na sitakunywa breakfast mm-hmm. ama sapa mm-hmm. but umesha kubuka ni lunch time mm-hmm. na ni sapa mm-hmm. the same case tunasa kuweka medication yetu ya ARVs cause ARVs it's your life mm-hmm. kama ukunywi ni tu life yako tu na wewe mwenyewe ni wewe unajiua mm-hmm. ukiwa uhai mm-hmm. but ukizikunywa venye inafaa you just live vizuri sana mm-hmm. a positive healthy life mm-hmm. yeah. And we thank you so much Tony for coming out to the public. I don't know if you've seen any results of you coming out to the public. Are there people who have reached out to you and akwambia Tony this and this is happening or is there anybody who gone testing just because he saw Tony's video? Wengi wananiambia na wasitua. Na hiyo ndio nilikuwa nataka sana sana. Wengi wao unapata sahi nimepata wa screenshot mingi sana mtu anakutumia picha na kuambia Tony ni test na nimetoka positive. Mm-hmm. Tony nitaezaje eh, kuji accept. Mm-hmm. Cause watu wengi walikuwa na jua jua ko healthy mm-hmm. wanaona hawezi kuwa na virus. Mm-hmm. But HIV siku hizi si kama ya kitambo. Mm-hmm. Unaona? Mm-hmm. Unapata wewe umeenda kupimwa ulikuwa unapata maybe wewe ni wewe unastigmatize watu wenye wako na HIV hapo nje. Mm-hmm. Unapata wewe ni wewe unaongea vibaya kuhusu watu wenye wako na HIV na mara yako ya mwisho kupimwa ulipimwa like 4 years ago mm-hmm. ama 5 years ago. Mm-hmm. Sasa ukienda kupimwa unapata uko positive. Mm-hmm hata utashidwa unaanza tena kupata na stress hivyo mm-hmm. so ati saa hii mm-hmm. uki venye nimekuja out in public mm-hmm. kumekuwa na watu wengi wanafanya massive testing alafu watu wengi wameanza kuona by the way venye naona anga boyfriend yangu cause watu wengi siku hizi kama my youth tunasema kuna eater wenye wanatumia kwani don't you trust me mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. kwani huni trust mm-hmm. na hiyo kitu ya kwani huni trust unapata inkimesa watu wengi sana cause unapata mtu hataki kutumia protection umepatana tu na mtu na nowadays ku kwa in a relationship unapata watu wengine they want to put it like certificate ya kuwa in a relationship ni sex mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. so unapata when having those sex kukuwa intimate mm-hmm. watu wengine hawataki kutumia protection mm-hmm. ikifika ni kutumia protection unasikia mtu amekuuliza kwani don't you trust me mm-hmm. na si ati 
kitu ya kwanza usi trust mtu kwa sababu kwa daktari apimwe huyo mtu kama kwa HIV positive mm-hmm. tena hata hapa tuzui HIV peke yake mm-hmm. kuna vitu kama HPV virus human papilloma virus mm-hmm. kuna STIs kuna hepatitis B mm-hmm. ni vitu mingi sana utazuia mm-hmm. love bad for your own health mm-hmm. jipende wewe mwenyewe mm-hmm. love yourself yeah. Yeah. okay nice about the the using of protection eh? there are those people maybe kama sasa hivi know the uh, economy iko mbaya sana kuna mtu ambaye maybe atafeel eh hiyo pesa ya kununua hii vitu ya kutumia kila siku kila siku na kuna mwingine bado atapata na labda hata ajui kuzitumia eh? so do you offer some kind of help in that uh, maybe acquiring the protection uh, I don't know whether to call them let's call the codoms eh do you give them people access to codoms or do you educate people on how to use them wenye wajui kutumia mambo na protection cd kwa hiyo wanasema ukitumia codom anga ina bus kuna kuna steps cause kuna kitu before nifike hapo kuna like ladies kuna swali nauliza anga wasichana what is your law wakati boyfriend yako amekuja na kodo. Mm-hmm. Na hizo lolo zote kila kitu cause watu wengi they just wait to receive. Mm-hmm. Hizi vitu wa mtaiambiwa na mzazi wako, au utaiambiwa na mtu mwingine. Vitu zingine at least uzijulie hapa. Mm-hmm. Cause watu wengi kama msichana hapo hata uchukua ngio kodo mnaangalia expiry date, kuangalia kama iko na hewa ndani cause mostly huko nje watu ni hivyo sana. Unaweza pata mtu amekuja na CD but ameiduga duga kwa katikati. Anataka tu ku spoil wewe. Yaani kuku kukupea yani ako yani na the evil in in him or her no, no. so step zote za kutumia all the, the protection ziko kwa my youtube channel mm-hmm. tony shix 98 mm-hmm. utapata how to use a female and a male condom mm-hmm. zote ziko hapo step by step mm-hmm. yeah okay uh, are there people who have reached out to you tony after you went viral and after you spoke out about your status are there people who have reached out to you wanakuambia tony this is what i found out na how watu unawasaidia aje kuna wengine unapata mtu amekuambia like ako far anakuambia niko huku na lobby niko kiambu niko maybe nax maybe kwenye nimetoka ni far kwa kazi ya nyumba wengine wamekuja tu makazi wenye tunatafuta haso but ana shida venye ata access dawa zake kuna watu tuna work out na wao kama masascos wa sisi unapata like kiambu kuna sasco moja kila yani in each constituency each hospital kuna sasco wa huko hao watu wenye wanasimamia masisi mm-hmm. so watu kama hao tunabianga mtu mm-hmm. mwenye huyo client mwenye anasema maybe ako na struggle za ku access dawa zake mm-hmm. mtu anasema dawa zenye anakunywa kama anazijua jina mm-hmm. akwambie majina za dawa hizo venye zinaitwa mm-hmm. alafu akwambie hospitali yenye alikuwa anaenda mm-hmm. na hospitali yenye iko karibu na ye mnaziconnect zote bili na naweza ku access dawa zake okay yeah. and they are free yeah they are free okay nice Now that Tony came out to the public na watu wameku reach out. Are there people wenye sasa wameanza ku repel ama wamekuondokea just because you came out to the public? Maybe people who are very close to you or even your customers and how are you taking it? Yes kuna mtu maybe unaweza anaweza enda but sasa hata ndio watu wengi wanakuja. Kwa hiyo unapata kuna mtu anakuja na kuuliza nitawezaje ku accept situation yangu. Kumbe hata mwenye ulikuwa nafikiria ni best yako ako negative hata mm-hmm. yeye ako nayo. Mm-hmm. Bali mwenye alikuwa ananyamazia. Mm-hmm. So unapata wengine wanakuja na kuuliza umewezaje kufika to that level mm-hmm. you are that courageous. Mm-hmm. Mwingine anakuja na kuambia niko na brother yangu, niko na sister yangu, niko na cousin yangu. Mm-hmm. How can I talk to her or him? Mm-hmm. Aweze ku accept. Mm-hmm. So nimeona ikisaidia sana kwa mm-hmm. watu wamekuja kuongea ku speak out wameanza mm-hmm. kuongea mm-hmm. yeah. that is nice so you can talk maybe to those youths wenye atakuwa ki watch hii video for the first time haja kutana na Tony Shix in any other platform so this is the first time anaskia from you na maybe you can talk to that person about kukubali kwenda kukupimwa about ukipimwa when you turn out positive na hata wenye wata turn out negative you can talk to them about kujikinga mambo ya kujikinga number one, we have to stay faithful mm-hmm. kama unaweza kukaa faithful mm-hmm. let's go domine mm-hmm. kwa sababu unaweza pata basi utajikinga HIV mm-hmm. but kuna magonjwa zingine hata zinaua mm-hmm. utapata kitu kama H- 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 hepatitis B mm-hmm. hiyo ni virus mm-hmm. na inakuwa na spread inawanga ina spread wa through sex mm-hmm. na utapata hata hiyo hiyo inakuwa ng even worse than HIV bado mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. kuna vitu kama zenye zinashika ladies Mi, we as men ndio callers mm-hmm. HPV virus human papilloma virus na hiyo virus ndio ina cause cervical cancer mm-hmm. 
So, hizi vitu tukiweza kutumia protection, we mwenye unajiprotect we mwenye. Mm-hmm. In case umepata uko negative, mm-hmm. take care of yourself. Mm-hmm. Alafu, pro- acha kustigmatize watu wenye wako na HIV. Mm-hmm. Hujui kesho yako ni nini utapata. Mm-hmm. Your tomorrow is unplanned. You don't know what tomorrow mm-hmm. may hold for you. Mm-hmm. So, kama unajua we uko umeenda umetest negative, show love to those who are positive. Mm-hmm. Spread awareness, say no to stigmatization. Mm-hmm. Kwa zata hujui kama mtoto wenu ama mtoto wako ataijipata to that situation mm-hmm. yeah yeah sure. we should stop stigmatization at all costs. now after you came out to the public and talked about that uh, i've been reading uh, comments of people who have been talking to you maybe wengine wamekuwa wakiku dm wengine wana reply hapo kwa tiktok wengine wanakupata somewhere and i saw one who openly said kwa sababu sasa hiyo huyo wako negative but alisema for me nikipata hiyo ugonjwa uh, i would make sure sijakufa peke yangu ni may infect both wa baba na wa mama so uh, do you think there are people who deliberately do that amejua that ni mgonjwa but deliberately ana go out there to spread it akijua vizuri sana ni ni ku spread na spread and maybe have a word tell us if kuna watu kama hao and also give a word to those people wenye hufanya hivyo Yes watu kama hao ni wengi bado sana. Mm-hmm. Cause mtu kama huyo na bwan chenye inatuma afanye hivyo si ati ni nule jana. Mm-hmm. Ni venye hajajitikia. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So naona ni kama kwa me. Mm-hmm. Unaona? So nataka kukuwa na kupea watu wengi mm-hmm. as venye naweza. Mm-hmm. Na sasa hapo do point inakuja mm-hmm. we have massive test. Tuache kupima na macho. Mm-hmm. Cause hata mimi nikiweza taka ku spread ni spread. Unaona? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. But kuna kitu moja ninaambiwa Yaani just love yourself mm-hmm. na upende mwe huyo mwenzako. Mm-hmm. Cause the moment nimesema basi ni kusplend, mm-hmm. naweza enda kusplend patane mm-hmm. huyo mwingine bado ni mgojwa the same case wenye mimi ni mgojwa. Mm-hmm. Unaona? Mm-hmm. Unapata umefikiria wewe unataka kumpea. Mm-hmm. So hata yeye mwenyewe ako na hiyo intention bado anataka kukupea. Mm-hmm. So the moment umepata hizo virus zimeanza ku mix mm-hmm. cause yake ni tofauti na yako, mm-hmm. unapata your drugs mm-hmm. zimeanza kukua kule assist your body. Mm-hmm. Now the moment drugs imeanza kule assist your body, mm-hmm. you are at a high risk mm-hmm. in your life. Mm-hmm. Cause unapata unatolewa hii 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 line unapelekwa hii line. Mm-hmm. Unajua that line it's very rare kupata. Kuna first time na second line only. Mm-hmm. So kupata hiyo that line it's very rare for now. Na ndio maana unapata hapo penye tunasema acheni kupima na macho. Mm-hmm. Hata wewe mwenye uko hapo nje na uko negative. Ukipata na msichana ako mlebo aje ama ukipata na kijana mlebo aje ama mahali samaje. Mm-hmm. And then mfanye test kwanza before even starting the relationship. Mm-hmm. Na bado hata mkianza hiyo relationship usifikirie uko safe. Mm-hmm. In a, after every three months mm-hmm. kuna unafanya test. Mm-hmm. After every three months fanya test ni free mm-hmm. na hakuna kitu itaku cost. Mm-hmm. Sure. Kuna mahali nime float hapo and maybe my viewers pia wame float. What do you mean by first line? Second kendani first line ndio zenye mtu anaziangwa nazo when you are enrolled to art okay no no mm-hmm. and introve your therapy mm-hmm. ukianza mambo ya hiv mm-hmm. uki test positive kuna dawa zinaziangwa nazo mm-hmm. so hizo ndizo zinaitangwa first line okay. yeah na ikaa mimi nakunywa first line dawa inaitwa tdf ttc na ttg mm-hmm. ni dawa moja but combined mm-hmm. from three drugs mm-hmm. tdf ttc na ttg Mm-hmm. You still yeah. taking it despite that umeikunywa for the 24 years bado yeah. gender sijai pela kwa kwa sijai misuse Oh now when you misuse that when you are taken uh, to the wakati, second yeah, time wakati zimeanza kukata maybe umeanza ku miss na try mala mm-hmm. umeanza yani uzi take the no. nafaa venye unaambiwa na daktari mm-hmm. mala unacheza na time yako leo unakunywa kesho ukunywi mm-hmm. leo unaona ni kama niko strong star kunywa mm-hmm. vitu kama hizo Okay So Tony told does that he is 24 years and he's working So hiyo pesa yake iko na kakitu, hako na pesa. And the fact that now he has no family. So maybe he's looking for a companion. So Tony, would you mind telling us now? Do you have somebody who is so close to you or let us call it are you seeing someone? Yeah, I have a girlfriend. Uh-huh. Na ko negative. Uh-huh. Yeah. Na tumeza kukua tuko together tu cause uh-huh. in life wewe kaka hata wanyama wenyewe wako na wako na partners wao uh-huh. utapata hata mnyama bado there is a time ata feel anataka kuwa associated uh-huh. na partner mwenzake opposite sex uh-huh. we are humans and uh-huh. we have feelings okay. so i have a girlfriend kwa hiyo wana shida hata wakimiza kwa platform zangu uh-huh. if i have a girlfriend i have a girlfriend you have a girlfriend yeah. not girlfriend girlfriend one you yeah. st- stuck to one a one partner and she's negative she's negative why did you choose 
Ojo na onanga mostly uh maybe somebody who is deaf probably anaoa somebody who is deaf ndio communication ikuwe easier eh? so mm-hmm. maybe i would have thought now that you are positive to lower the risks ama ndio maybe mkuwe in the same line eh? you would date somebody who is positive no, for the reason why niliamua ku date mtu mwenye ko negative mm-hmm. Ni kuonyesha na there is nothing that is impossible as long as it's positive. Mm-hmm. In this life, not just to us who are positive, mm-hmm. but even to everyone out there when you are negative, either negative or positive. Mm-hmm. Nothing that is impossible as long as it's positive mm-hmm. in this life. Because kuna watu wanapatanga umejipata in such a situation, mm-hmm. una nasiwezi mm-hmm. toboa kwa hii. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But hakuna na kitu impossible. Kama hiyo staff ni positive, inakupeleka mahali nafaa. Mm-hmm. There is nothing that is impossible. Again, ni kuweza ku encourage watu wengine hapo nje waone people who are living with HIV are just normal like you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We are just same, hakuna tofauti. Mm-hmm. It's just that we have a tiny virus in us mm-hmm. that is manageable and controllable. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Kuliko hata kuliko disease zingine zenye ziko mm-hmm. nje, zenye hata kuna zingine huwezi control. Mm-hmm. Zingine ikikushika it's like you are done. Mm-hmm. But HIV you can manage it and you can control it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you want to tell me that now that you are positive and your girlfriend is negative there is a technology ama ni nini hiyo yenye itafanya that both of you will remain that way you won't infect her first of all you, i have to suppress my virus mm-hmm. equal ldl mm-hmm. number two kama yana tumia kitu inaitwa play pre exposure prophylaxis mm-hmm. hizo zinazuyanga before you are exposed to hiv mm-hmm. zinazuyanga ni kama venye saa hii mm-hmm. mtu aki ukipata mtu amelipiwa mm-hmm. anaenda house cause hawa juice status ya mtu ilikuwaaje mm-hmm. unanaye unapewa dawa unakunyonga for la month for 28 days mm-hmm. za kuzuia the hiv mm-hmm. to pass through you okay. yeah. yeah so that is nice maybe we can you can talk to those people when you uko hapo you are positive and maybe you fallen in love with somebody who is negative Uh, we have Tony here who is dating somebody who is negative. I'm not saying that you should go ahead with it, but kama umependana, I think Tony has given you the advice and you weze kujiamulia mwenyewe. So, thank you so much Tony for coming on board. Welcome. Thank you so much for kukubali kutokea in the dim light bila kuogopa that watu watasema aje wale customers wangu watasema aje or watu ushago watasema nini. You I know you've become an inspiration to so many youths na umewasaidia sana umesaidia wengine kukua tested wengine wamejikubali because of Tony and may God bless you Amen. and may God keep you safe na kuige matukoma ike Amen. Uh, maybe you can talk to the viewers as we uh, you can give them a piece of advice as we wind up tell them what nobody else will tell them ni kitu ya kwanza kama mayuzi hata mzazi mwenye yako hapo nje msidaganye watoto wenu kushinda ukiambia mtoto wako abstain. Cuz utamwambia wewe mwenyewe abstain akitoka nje na kwa exposed to the life in iko sai, generation in iko sai. Na iko spoiled kabisa. Jaribu kumwambia if you can't abstain, there are ways that you can use. Mwambie tumie protection. Mfunze ni mtoto wako. Mfunze usikuwe shaye kuambia mtoto wako vitu zenye nafaa kufanya cause ujue huyo mtoto ni wako na akipata kitu na huko nje atakuja kukuletea kwako kwa nyumba na wewe mwenyewe utatake care of all of so if uli, uli kwa class kumfunza lessons fulani hapo ni wewe utalaumiwa cause huko nje tunapata tunaambia youths na adolescents abstain but ukiambia huyo mtu abstain light na upenye tumefika is it worth to tell someone to abstain Yes, utamwambia abstain but in real sense hakuna abstinence huko nje. Mm-hmm. Utapata tu they are exposed to social media, they are exposed to everything. Mm-hmm. So utapata aki have sex and protected sex huko because hakuwa me but a knowledge about it. Mm-hmm. So let's use codoms na domana zimeletwa na government na they are for free mm-hmm. and let's have massive testing. Mm-hmm. Kila mtu ajue status yake, mm-hmm. kila mtu ajue hali yake, ya maisha yake. Mm-hmm. Alafu namba 2, jipende ala ujipende kwanza wewe mwenyewe kama uko positive jipende kama uko negative jipende alafu accept your condition kama hata uko hapo nje na huko na HIV virus uko na staff nyingine inakusumbua first of all accept yourself because ukiji accept you'll be able to fight the situation you are going through ukiji accept ni hivyo mwingine hapo mwenye ako positive na hujaweza kuji accept just assume to ni life just assume ni life because hakuna hakuna wenye utaipata umetest negative 
mm-hmm. until further notice maybe cure cure ipatikane mm-hmm. but for now take your medication serious mm-hmm. keep time cuz kunyo da za hiv ni ku keep time mm-hmm. keep time love yourself be focused na ujitikie tu venye uko cuz you vizuri. can't change yeah, na kule vizuri proteins na fruits zikuwe sana sana kwa diet yako mm-hmm. na kule balanced diet na upige tizi mm-hmm. love you just live a happy life mm-hmm. Nice, nice. Maybe out of uh, now that uh, Tony told us that Ali contract he disease at birth or the virus Ali contracted birth. Eh? I've just thought of it. Uh, maybe we can talk to those parents who are both positive and they feel they want to get another baby. So we can talk to those people in Dior. I think there must be a way out for them not to bring a positive kid into the world do we have technology that yeah. protects uh, yeah you can tell us about that like kama mtu ako positive hapo nyenye kama mko kuna discordant couples kuna pata kuna mimi ako positive kuna mwingine ako negative but they are marriage kuna wengine ako positive positive but they are together mm-hmm. kupata mtoto mtapata tu mtoto wako sahihi hakuna mtoto na sahihi kuzaliwa akiwa positive mm-hmm. there is a process ya kupata mtoto mwenye ako negative mm-hmm. just go to the hospital mm-hmm. upewe counseling mm-hmm. na utakuwa in order to, kwa kitu inaitwa PMTCT kama mama mtoto mm-hmm. prevention of mother to child transmission mm-hmm. na mtoto utapata mtoto mzuri mm-hmm. ako negative mm-hmm. cuz sasa uki, ukituma mtoto wako yani uki, uki let your child akwe exposed to HIV mm-hmm. itakuwa hard mm-hmm. mwenyewe kujitikia na hata we mwenyewe ni atakuwa kilaumu cuz atakuwa akijua kuna kulikuwa na ways za kunizuia but nilipata how when my parents don't love me unaona so at least to take your care sana alafu kwa wenye wako like kuna mmoja ako positive na kuna mwingine ako negative hapana kuna mmoja ako positive kuna mmoja ako negative na mwingine ako negative ninyi wawili wawili mko negative mkienda ku test unapata mama ametesta ko negative but mzozo mtoto unapata amezaa mtoto positive na hapo ndo inafika Mama mtoto unapata yeye ametulia vizuri kwa kwa nyumba but we as men unapata tunazulula huko nje umeenda umetafuta hiyo disease huko nje umeletea mama mtoto kwa nyumba kutest mlikuwa umetest mwanzo mkiwa nega but umekuja hapo katikati na ume transmit the virus to your woman alafu hadi mtoto wako amekuwa exposed to HIV na mnazaa mtoto wako positive so yo, so hiyo makosa unaona ni ya kutokuwa faithful and that's why tunasema tukue faithful na tukue loyal na protect your partner mm-hmm. ukiji protect kwanza ukiji protect protect your partner mm-hmm. partner yako wako na akiji protect aku protect mm-hmm. yeah let's be safe mm-hmm. yeah. let's keep safe so thank you so much our viewers for being with us thank you for watching this video i'm sure you learn a lot pick what is yours i'll add nothing more i'll subtract nothing pick what is yours if you are married tony ametwambia be faithful if you are negative keep safe Tony keeps saying that the streets are not safe. Keep safe, keep safe, keep safe. If you are positive, jikubali. Let's all go for testing. Na ukipata you are positive, jikubali, kunywa dawa vizuri na venye tu Tony ametuambia ukimwi haitaki wasichana, ukimwi haitaki pombe. So you find yourself positive, uh, be disciplined. And I know you are going to conquer it. So once again, hit that subscription button over there and the notification bell. Until next time. Bye bye.